All right, so I'm going to show you really quickly how you can find your Discord developer ID. It's very simple, but they kind of have it hidden from us, so I'll walk you through it from here. Uh, so basically, on the bottom left-hand side of your Discord, you're going to see your user profile. What you're going to want to do is click on user settings right here, this little gear icon. So when you click on that, it'll bring you to this navigation menu right about here. And what you want to do is you want to look for the section that says app settings. When you find that, you want to go to the bottom of this navigation menu and you want to click on advanced. And then from here, you want to make sure that you have your developer mode turned on. When you have this turned on, it's going to access, it'll allow you to access a bunch of new um, menu items from over here. Because you'll notice that my menu is a little bit different than yours, but the moment you click on this, it's going to unlock all those changes. If you find that the changes haven't unlocked yet, all you got to do is make sure this is toggled on with the green check mark, then exit out, and then come back into it, and you'll notice that they'll update after that. Um, and then from here, under user settings, you'll see my account. It By default, it should already be selected. And then under your username, right here, you'll see three dots, and you want to click on that three dots, click on copy user ID, and it's going to copy a long string of numbers, and that's your developer user ID. And then from there, you'll be able to use it to um, get access to like more APIs. You can do a lot of changes from developer settings. Um, a lot of cool stuff you can do when you have access to this kind of stuff. But we're using it to allow us to uh, basically navigate the changes that Discourse is doing with their username. So um, we're using this to kind of like prepare for the worst. <laughs> so just click on here, copy user ID, and you're good to go. Thanks, guys.